information over that channel. I am Sheena Ho, and I'm so glad you joined. Like, share, subscribe, and leave comments below. This is a place where I give practical financial tips that anyone can understand and you can begin to implement now. Today's topic, the foundation. Thank you all for helping me to reach over 100 subscribers on YouTube. I now have a custom URL, which is YouTube, and then it's education over debt. So I have some flyers out there that you should see coming out soon with the custom URL. But I just wanted to thank you guys for your support and watching me over the past few weeks, watching my videos, liking, sharing them, sharing my statuses, and then helping me to reach over 100 subscribers on YouTube. I totally appreciate you and everything that you've done. Today, I want to talk to you about the foundation. Education Over Debt is now a nonprofit foundation in the state of North Carolina. I'm so excited to share this news with you all as this has been a long time coming and something that I've been working on for a while. So the purpose of the foundation is to provide scholarship money to students obtaining their bachelor's degree. When I was in high school, I applied for about 15 scholarships and I didn't get any. And part of the reason I think is because I wasn't a strong writer I didn't know how to tell my story well, but then also none of the scholarships had a math component that I was applying to. And I was really good in math. And I feel like if they had a scholarship that had some type of math question or reasoning or analysis based off of math, I could have done well and probably would have won a scholarship, but that didn't happen. So as I got older, I knew that I always wanted to serve in that capacity to help students go to college. Uh, and provide help with scholarship monies because I really feel like college was an eye-opener for me and it helped to change the trajectory of my life. And so I wanted to really help someone else and help another student do the same thing because I do believe in college, but I don't believe that you should take out a lot of student loan debt to go to college. And so um, in 2016, I wrote the book, How to Get a Bachelor's Degree with Little to No Debt that was catered towards my community college students with helping them to understand different strategies and techniques that they could go to college without taking out so much student loan debt because they were really scared and horrified about going to a four-year school all because they didn't want to take out student loan debt. So that's something that I worked on in 2016 and I got that book out and then I updated it with a workbook so parents can go along with their students to really just be more proactive versus reactive when going to college. And so um, then later on, of course, I helped serve or help to create some scholarships. I think my first scholarship I helped to create was in 2010, um, which they helped a student go to college or get some money for college, I should say. And then most recently for the past three years, I served as a scholarship chairperson for a foundation in which I was able to really grow the applicant pool for the students that apply. I was able to build relationships with the students after they applied and they were able to get to know each other as well as connect them to other people who could help them in their career fields and provide tips and feedback for ways that they could be successful in their career. And so that was something that I really enjoyed. And now with the Education Over Debt Foundation, I really just wanna take that to a larger scale. So the focus for the scholarships for the Education Over Debt Foundation will be for students attending any four-year college or university, for students attending a historically black college or university, an HBCU, and then for undocumented students on the path to citizenship. Um, and the, the reason for that scholarship is because in undergrad, I was a Spanish minor and I was able to travel to Mexico and really learned about and loved the whole Latino culture and things like that. And even in Chicago, I worked a lot with the um, Latino ex community and a lot of my students were. And um, certain states, they have ways where students could get scholarship monies to go to school or they could pay in-state tuition. But in certain states, they don't have that option. Like in North Carolina, they don't. But in Illinois, they do have some more options and fundings for students. And so that scholarship was more so catered to students to help them go to college and if they're on a path to citizenship in the United States, because I think that's important. And so I wanted to create a scholarship for it. Now, with these scholarships, all of them will have a money component, because as you guys know, I love talking about money. So the students will have workshops that they can attend that will talk about the basics of money, understanding um, savings, investing, debt, credit, they'll have some workshops to help them with that. And it'll be a, probably a question or something related to it 
um, the scholarship application, but the goal is not only to give students monies to go to school, but also hopefully plant some seeds so they can understand money a little bit better because currently it's not something offered in schools and I really feel like money impacts everybody. There's no way around it. So I think that it's something that they should be aware of and at least, you know, talked about or talked to about money in some capacity. And so the scholarship would serve as a way for them to learn something about money if they've never been exposed to money in regards to savings, checkings, credit, debt, loans, you know, any of that stuff. The scholarship, I plan to have a workshop to talk to students about that. And so with that being said, I want you guys to go and check out my website, educationoverdebt.com, and you can learn a little bit more information about the organization and the foundation and the purpose. You'll see my board of directors who's helping me to um, share this vision with you guys. And um, I am really just excited about it. And I hope that it's something that you could support. I do have a donation link on there. We are currently, our application is currently pending with the IRS for our 501c3 status, but they did say that I should have an answer by February 2021. So if you would like to make a donation, please feel free to do so. Again, my application status is pending with the IRS, but per the IRS, if you were to donate while the application is pending and I do get the 501c3 status, then your donation could be tax deductible. So hopefully I will get the status update soon and I'll let everyone know. But if you like, if you could, please go online, go to my website, check it out, educationoverdebt.com and donate. Donate to help a student go to college with little to no debt. 2020 has been a hard year for everyone. Believe me, I know. But as a result, it's been even harder for our students going to college. A lot of nonprofit organizations reduced their scholarship monies this year because of the pandemic. And uh, of course that hurt some of the students who apply for scholarships. Um, and so if you could please go online, donate, help a student go to college, even if they're taking a break this year, next year they may decide to go to college and they may need some support to do so. In college, in my opinion, it's not all about just going to class and learning, but it's also about your social connections and relationships that you build. I believe that I've gotten as far as I've gotten because of some of the relationships that, that I built over the time. And a lot of those relationships are from college, to be honest with you. So um, I believe in college. I think college is still good. I just don't think you should go to college with a lot of student loan debt or you should try to limit your student loan debt if you go to college. And so I just want to serve in that capacity to help another student go to college with little to no debt. Thank you guys for watching my episodes. This is the last episode for season one. I will be coming back in season two in January and I have some new fun topics to talk about. I hope you guys can come along and join me for that. Thanks again for all your support over the past few weeks. I've enjoyed learning who you are and you know, talk to you via your questions or your stories and things of that nature. So thank you guys for everything. And I look forward to seeing you in a few weeks in January when I start season two of the podcast, Education Over Dead.